Hello YouTube, welcome back to another game of StarCraft II Legacy of the Void. This is going to be the third game from our best of five between Violet and Soral. This is a Zerg vs Zerg in Orbital Shipyard. And we've got here two really, really high-end Zerg players. So scores, as usual, will be displayed at about one minute into the video. To avoid any spoilers for those of you who are watching on YouTube on the VOD later on. So you have a chance to go in the description and of course check out those links which will bring you to game number one and two. So let's see how this one plays out. Violet with a sneaky sneaky spawning pool. So I think he might go for a big huge Zergling aggression push here. And we're gonna see how this one plays out. This spawning pool 14 was the number I believe. And he's not even putting down gas. So essentially he is just going to go for a huge amount of Zerglings straight off the bat onto an unsuspecting Soral over here. And score, by the way, is currently 2 for Violet, 0 for Soral. So he is doing quite well right now. So let's see. Extractor is coming up here for Soral. It's going to be quite a difficult challenge to fight off so many Zerglings. There's 8 of them being produced right now. And the music, I think, is perfectly suiting right now. The dark, ominous tone of this game. It is going the most toxic possible way. I, I said the only thing that you could possibly do to go any more toxic than this is probably to go for a 12 pool. Because that is an all-out scum move to do. <laughs> so let's see. Six Zerglings with two more behind them. They're waddling, 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 waddling. I love the way Zerglings run. They're like freaking dogs. And let's see what's going to happen here. The spawning pool just about completing. And he's going to start taking First the drones blood. pretty much immediately. As long as he doesn't take on this drone army it, straight away, he should be just fine. Taking out two so far. And the number of Zerglings here is huge. Oh my god, this is not looking good for Soral right now. Even if he takes this drone army straight on, I think he will still come out on top here. Regardless of what he continues on here. Let's see what happens here. We've only got 12 workers for Soral. I do not know whether the Overlord spotted this, but regardless... I don't think there could have been that much that could have been done when your spawning pool is just about to complete and you've already got two bases are up. So let's see how much damage has been done. He's managed to hold it off for now. Looks like he has his overlord here. He's managed to hold it off. But has the economic damage been done at this point? As you can see, Violet does have his base up. He did punish this enough to make his all-in, or not all-in, but his early aggression worth it. He's got a bigger army. He's got more workers, and he does have the second base, which has made this pretty damn good for him. Let's see what he's building. It looks like he's getting himself Metabolic Boost, which Violet doesn't actually have yet. Now, Slowlings are the, literally the worst units in StarCraft 2, unless, of course, you're doing a super early rush like this. But once you have the Metabolic Boost, they become monstrous. It's the first step towards Cracklings, and Cracklings, oh boy, they're not good for you. They are on crack, quite literally. You don't know what they were doing to them when they were creating them in those labs. Dude, they were like super hyper and stuff. But anyways, <laughs> worker supply is starting to slowly even out here. So the longer Soral, or the longer Violet lets this go like this with this passive game, the longer uh, Soral is going to have to recover. Now, just notice that there's two more gases being put down by Violet. You, I'm sure that I don't need to tell you guys what this generally means. To have four gases as well as two blocking queens here. Just preventing anything from running in. And of course we also have the spine crawler here. Which will not only be able to block Zerglings. It's also going to have two transfuses on the back of it. And of course it's going to have... Uh, the extra defense that it, that it offers. So Soral just standing here, probably expecting to see a third base going down soon. But uh, it doesn't appear to me like Violet is interested at all right now. 
Unless... <laughs> never mind, he just proved me wrong. Vote one about to complete, so this is going to probably be... Probably is either going to be a Nidus or a Mutalisk Spire, which I think it's going to be a Spire. There it is, right now. Spire on the way. Now, four gases means about 700 gas by the time your Spire completes. Now, he already had about 250 or so, which means he's going to have probably about 900 gas, depending on how much of it is spends by the time that Spire completes. So really, it's going to be depending on how much of that he actually wants to invest into, into Mutalisks. Because he is going to have to worry about the ground army as well. We all know that sometimes it's worth just going in with that ro with that Roach and uh, Ravager army. Just ignore the Mutalisks and just go mad. Now that is a huge amount of Zerglings right here. That is a total of 30, 40 Zerglings. Let's see what he's going to do with those. Is he going to just do a huge amount of aggression? I mean, he's got a lot of of minerals to waste since he is going for super expensive mutalisks on gas terms. Surrounding the queen, the roaches are in good position, but this base, this base has absolutely no chance at this point to survive. There's so many zerglings streaming in here. It's going to have he's going to have a very hard time to break through the ramp, so probably not going to want to do that. Instead, going to bring up mutalisks. He's got seven on the way. It's got 300 gas, so just about that 900 or 1000 gas that I thought it would have. Just about right. And 10 mutalisks, 11 mutalisks. Uh oh. Violet. Violet. Are you going to do some sort of sneaky mutalisk play here? I certainly think you are. Gonna get those mutalisks inside his opponent base. And this overlord gonna spot them at this point. And Soral is probably going to be in a bit of a panic right now. He does have a spore crawler, two spore crawlers, three, four spore crawlers on the way. And he's basically the, the purpose of taking out uh, overlords inside your base instead of going straight for the mineral end of the opponent is just, of course, in case there is Nidus networks on the way. In which case, your opponent could just sneak by, and uh, that would not end well for your base. So let's see, this is a flock of about 12. And he is losing a few of those. Putting down another spore crawler in there. And the spore crawler is pretty much everywhere at this point. He obviously does not want to lose too much to this mutilus. He did not expect them. So now he needs to counter them somehow. Now attacking the, the gas is quite clever here just to take out a few of those workers and also of course deny some gas. Queen's gonna potentially get caught out here. They definitely don't want to get caught here. Taking out a few of those drones as well. Now he's lost I think a bit too significant of a number of mutilists here to Queen's so gonna definitely have to continue and uh, be more careful. Another Queen being picked off. And a third Queen being picked off. This is making those mutilists pay for themselves already. Maybe not so, f not fully, but he is getting there. And this mutilisk flock is just causing so much havoc right now. Despite the fact that he's lost quite a few of them, he has seven remaining, which means he's lost about five. I still think that he has been a little bit careless with them. And there was an engagement back there, I didn't actually spot it, but uh, as you can see, Violet's army was a lot bigger here. So there wasn't really a whole lot that could have been done. But yeah, that was that was pretty damn one-sided. I think once those Mutalisks came up, there was absolutely no way uh, to come back from that. So that's pretty much it. Violet taking the series at 3-0. to zero. And uh, we're going to be moving on to the semi-finals next. And that is it for this best of five series. Don't forget to follow me on Facebook and Twitter if you want to be followed or if you want to be updated every time I actually upload something. It's a great way to see when I release a video. Uh, and of course, if you really want to see the schedule for that, there is a basically a times displayed at the top of my channel. So when you go to my main page, you're going to see that there is times there inside the banner. It shows you exactly when I do release some videos and I do release them on the dot. 
So that's pretty much it. I hope you've enjoyed it. Good luck, take care, and I will see you guys in the next Best of Five series.